Dear Doctor, I came to see you on the 24th of August, almost a month ago now. I received a 10 minute consultation that you charged me $300 for and received an abrupt and abrasive diagnosis of bad skin, something a stranger could have told me on the street at first glance. Your diagnosis of eczema, albeit true, was not why I was coming to you. My GP had prescribed steroid cream for the rash that covered my face and body. I was referred to you to find out why this was happening to me. Your job is to find the underlying cause, not just treat the symptoms. Instead of being met with understanding and compassion for the condition I was presented with and was clearly in a lot of pain and discomfort, I was rushed and spoken to like a child and instructed to use steroid cream and have bleach baths for the rest of my life, along with anyone I lived with. That there was no cure for what I was experiencing. This was my initial consultation with you. One would have thought that further testing would be required before giving such a diagnosis. I informed you that I had been experiencing horrific symptoms and I described to you such as burning and itching that was leaving me with boils and hives from head to toe and a horrific rash that was causing me to feel unwell mentally. Imagine your skin crawling with fire ants and an itch so bad that you wanted to peel your skin off and drag steel wool on your bones. That's how I was feeling. I was unable to sleep for days on end, screaming and yelping for it to stop, having cold showers that left me stinging and feeling absolutely helpless. I asked you if there was something that could be causing this, such as something in my diet or external allergens, and you dismissed all my thoughts and concerns and insisted that I just had bad skin. I left your practice feeling like I may have overreacted to how I was treated and that's why I asked the doctor that came along with me if, it, if I was just in this fragile state of mind or whether I was treated with negligence. He agreed with me completely and said the way I was treated was appalling and your communication style was terrible. As a specialist in your field you would see many cases similar to mine a lot more worse and terminal I imagine. And I write this for your patients currently and your future patients to come. As a doctor, you have a duty of care. Care being the word I would like to highlight in this instance. I had to make up a justifiable excuse in my head as to why I'd been treated with such negligence. But no matter what I came up with, it's just not good enough. If you don't like being a doctor, or you have something in your life that's stopping you from giving your patients the right treatment and attention, they need, then please consider an alternative because you've just given me one more reason not to trust the Western medical industry. I'm yet to find out the cause of my illness, but I'm optimistic regardless and looking to other alternatives instead of accepting that I will live like this for the rest of my life with no cure. I hope this letter makes you think twice about how you treat your patients. They are people, not just numbers.